y'all welcome to vlogtober day 15 so as y'all saw by the title we're talking about the plan b pill today so um i want to make some tacos i already started burning my fright night cocoa candle because that other candle it was common but i wanted something a little bit more aromatic i got my low vibrational dasani water so um this this was years ago so you know it, Sometimes, you know, you be with somebody and, and, and the club gets shot up. The club gets shot up, y'all, you know. And so, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? It's cool. Let me take Plan B pill. You know, I had it all planned out. So, I get the Plan B pill. I'm like, all right, cool. My cycle's not due for like a couple of weeks or whatever. Maybe like it was like two weeks or something like that. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be good to go. So, I go take the Plan B pill because I'm like, <laughs> at this time, I'm like, I already, I already got a kid. Like, it's a weapon day. It's a weapon at night. So, um, now, first of all, yes, no. The plan B is not a form of birth control. I know people was like, well, they could have used a condom. Shut up. Because as an adult, we're going to be honest with ourselves. And it does feel better without I'm, I'm sorry. It does feel better. We're adults. Let's talk about it. It, it does feel better without it, that, That's what's asked the point. Because I feel like y'all judging me. And y'all know I don't like when y'all do that. So I took the plan B pill. I had a couple weeks to my cycle. And I'm like, all right, cool. So y'all, now people are like, how do you talk about this and eat? Very easy. So... Cycle time come. When I tell y'all, my cycle was so heavy. It was so heavy. I didn't even know how to comprehend how heavy it was. And I'm talking about the flow was a literal flow. Like you literally felt it flowing out. Now I don't know if everybody experiences um this side effect. Of taking a plan b pill there's no fucking way in the world that it's just absolutely no way in the world that um a, a baby could survive that so i mean it does what it needs to do but for me the side effects were like a super heavy cycle the cycles atrocious i'm talking about overnight pads in the daytime like just constantly changing them it was it was giving miscarriage I'm just going to say that. If I had to equate it to anything where they're like, why well, you filling up pads every two to three hours front to back? That's like the people say, okay, well, that's like a miscarriage. It was given miscarriage. Cramps, horrible. But the flow was ridiculous. It, too fast, too fast to clock. It was horrible. The flow was ridiculous. And it was like that the entire time. So after that, you know, I end up getting put back in that situation. You know, I'm not claiming to be, you know, the best when it comes to certain things. Sometimes I do cave to um, the things that I want to do compared to the things that I should be doing. So, another incident. I need to take it again. It was awful. Awful again. As a matter of fact, every time that I took it, after that first time, the cycle was atrocious. Atrocious. So much so that it puts you in a mind frame of like, do you care about this person enough to put your body through this? And why do you not care about yourself enough to not put your body through this? But again, like I said, I have um, fallen victim to the things that I want compared to the things that I should be doing. So I'm like, you know, this, this is what I want because I know it's going to, I like it better, it's like, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, um, I, I kept, listen, I, I was living my, I was living my life like it was golden. But what I did know was I wasn't finna have no more kids. So afterwards, what I also noticed was that it started messing with my actual um, cycle. So like where I would have like, it'd be like, okay, it's time for your cycle. I would like spot then the next day it was like a regular cycle like my my regular flow was stopped but after i took the pills my cycle was all over the place i would come like on um, twice a month my cycle would last for like oh sometimes damn near two weeks sometimes i would spot for a week every single day i would spot for a week at some point in time in the day then i'll have like a heavy cycle for like two weeks and then I would like spot for like five days after that then I'm have like a week of rest 
And then sometimes I'll have like a week and a half, week of rest, and then I'll come up my cycle all over again. So, my body was ravished with these Plan B pills. And I'm like, it feels good when you're getting what you want or you're doing what you want to do. But in the end, like the torment that you put in your body through is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I was talking to a family member about it. And she was like, clearly she was going through the same thing that I was going through with the side effects. And she was like, she said, to be honest, I really feel like it's damaging something because the flow is just, it's, it's, it's very different. It's nothing like I've ever experienced. And so I want to do this video because what I'm thinking about is like now for a very long time, um, my cycle has been, since I haven't had to take no plan B pills or nothing like that, my cycle has been very regular very like now every now and then i get a heavy cycle but if i start spotting on the first by the second the flow is heavier by the third it's like a regular flow my cycles have always been like about seven days like between five and seven days and you know the last two days is you get a little residual so i count them days the cycle days because i gotta wear a, a pad so about seven days as a whole and so since I've been having regular cycles, I was like, this just further proves for me that when I was going through all of them hormonal changes and stuff, it was because of the plan B. Now, like I said, it did what it needed to do. But I feel like now, if you're taking plan B pills and you're having those type of side effects, make sure the person you're taking it for is worth it because... Would I do it again and go through that again? My dumb man's probably yeah, but I probably think about it a little bit beforehand. But don't do that with just anybody, cause I'm I'm not. I would never like never again. That's something that you. I, I really feel like you need to you need to be married and y'all just like listen. I know what we did last night, what and what we how we normally get down, but you know we both don't want no kids right now, so go ahead take that plan B. You 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 take plan B with somebody you love. You you take plan B with somebody who you care about because what you potentially put your body through, especially in the long run when it comes to like your cycles and stuff, for me, it's like Do you love me that much? Do you love me enough for me to be like, I'm gonna let you shoot up the club and take a plan B pill? Oh, I'm going to put myself in a position where the, the club end up getting shot up. It's, it's, it's violence at the club. And I have to take a plan B pill. Because when I tell you it worked for me when I needed it to work for me. But baby, those side effects for me. Now, I know there's some it's a, it's a people who have taken plan B pills and they be good to go. They don't have no problems. They don't have no issue. The salsa that made these shells um, soggy. Um, they got took the plan B pill. And they was fine. They were absolutely fine. They had regular cycles. They didn't have to worry about none of the stuff that I had to worry about. But for me, baby, them plan B pills tore me up. So I say this to say, if you are, if your cycles is all over the place, your cycles are super heavy, and you recently took a plan B pill, I promise you it's the plan B pill. You ain't going through nothing. Your, your body ain't got no tumors or nothing like that. And no, it's not fibroids. It's that plan B pill. And sis, I promise you, you're not pregnant. Anybody who's, who ended up being pregnant after you, you ain't taking it in time. You ain't taking it in time. You got 72 hours to take the plan B pill. I would say take it as soon as possible. Now, if you're on a vacation, if you're on like a five-day vacation, and y'all mess around and shoot the club up the first night, I would wait till like that third night. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I would wait till that third night because chances are y'all gonna be doing it like every day. So if you wait till that third night, you can take the plan B that third night to the next two days. Y'all gonna do it again. And then when you get back, you gotta take another one. I mean, you gotta take another one. You gotta take another one. I'm just saying. I, I would be better, uh, rather safe than sorry. I don't really know the particulars as to how long it stays in your system afterwards, but you got 72 hours. Anything after that plan B say, baby, that ain't, that ain't on us because we told you. So yeah, y'all, it, it was a lot. Um, I just was thinking about um this this cycle 
this particular cycle that just ended for me and I'm just like I've been having regular cycles for so long that I it didn't even dawn on me that um for a long time like when I was when I was taking the plan B pills that it was just throwing my cycle completely off it was throwing my hormones completely off and my cycles was everywhere I was coming on twice a month cycle super duper long just super duper long super duper heavy super duper unpredictable um and it was just it was bad it was bad so if y'all take plan b pills baby, take take the plan b pills somebody you love baby don't be letting uh everybody just shoot your club up yes it feels better without it because everybody want to be like, it feels the same way stop lying Stop lying. It don't. It's, it feels different. It does. It feels different and it feels better. Nothing beats that skin to skin. I said it. Nobody want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Because it's my channel and we adults. Yeah. The moral of the story, reserve of getting your club shot up by somebody who you love and they love you. Because at least you could make it make sense. But if you just meeting you know, uh, whoever, Tommy, Jerome, whoever, and y'all just, you know, y'all get it in. You ain't known this person, but y'all been talking for a couple months or whatever. God forbid if it's a, a, a one night stand, but like, if it's somebody that you ain't been talking to that long and y'all ain't really established nothing and you don't love them, they don't love you, y'all ain't got no history or nothing like that, don't, don't, uh -uh, don't put yourself in that position to have to take no plan B pill. If you, if you got to put your body through that, baby, put your body through that with somebody that you care about and that cares about you because, baby, no. Now, some people be like, well, if you cared about me, you put, shut up because I just told you it's feel good. That's, that's why it happened. I'll see y'all tomorrow.